Jesus Christ still has power over them. Jesus Christ still has power over every demon. Be with Jesus Christ. Don't let the de devils control your life. The devils torture people. They keep them in bondage. They keep them under alcohol. They keep them under smoking. I got it at the end. Demons and devils want to control your life. They want to take you down. The devil wants to, but God wants to lift you up. Don't let nothing take you away from God. Don't let nothing go before God. You must have God first. You cannot hold the hand of Satan and hold the hand of God at the same time. You must hate one. You cannot love both. You can't love the world and its ways and say that you love God too. You must be separate from the world. You must be separate. You cannot have living or you'll live in your whole lump. You must see Jesus Christ can take the veil off of you that you can see and he brings eternal life. But the devil wants to bring eternal damnation to you. The devil wants to keep you locked up. He wants to keep you in chains. The devil wants to keep you in chains, but Jesus Christ can break those chains. And the, the name of Jesus Christ is powerful. It can save your soul. Jesus Christ can fulfill your soul eternal. Jesus Christ can help you. The devil loves to have you in sin. He loves to have you as his pet, as your puppet. Some people don't believe the devil's real, but he's real. And he has his part written down that he's going into the lake of fire. I don't want you to go with him. 
I want you to go on the streets of gold, not in the streets of fire. I want you to repent so that you can be saved. Ladies, only Jesus Christ can hold you. No man can hold you but only the Lamb of God, Jesus. He has never failed no one and he won't fail you. Jesus Christ is the only one that can have you and take care of your heart. No other person can do that. Jesus Christ is faithful. Even though we're not faithful, he is faithful. See the salvation of the Lord. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. It's near. Our lives are short. Our lives are so short. But God has made a way that we can have eternal life. When out of sin, we all were born into sin. But Jesus Christ can make us born again. Jesus says you must be born again to enter the kingdom of God. He's the only way to heaven. You can't live with the devil and live with God at the same time. Don't take the life from the devil. Don't fall for his trick. Don't fall for the trick of the devil. He wants to take you. Jesus says deny yourself and follow you, him. Jesus says, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. He says, I'm the lamb. Open your ears to hear from God. Do you care about God in your life or are you just ignoring him? Are you ignoring your creator? Or are you really seeking your creator? The one that created you. Someone has created you. You did not come from monkeys. That is a lie. But we came from a God that created us. We did not come from a no tadpole. We came from a God that created us. That's a lie from the devil saying that we were created by monkeys. No, we were created by a loving God. And we can spend eternal life with Him. I don't know, bro. God is so merciful. And He brought us out here today so that you can hear the gospel. The good news. The good news that there's hope. That in this wicked world that there's hope. He is... The God of hope. While this world does not care, God cares for you. This world and its ways do not care, but God cares for you. He cared so much that he sent his son to die for you. That's how much he cared for you that he sent his son to die for you. God had to look away when Jesus was on the cross because he could not look at sin. He had to look away because Jesus was paying the price for your sins. If you don't have your sin paid by Jesus Christ, you have to pay for your own sin. Justice must be served. God is a God of justice and he must bring justice. And you will have to pay for your sin if you do not accept the Messiah, Jesus Christ, price. He paid for you. The price God paid for you was the blood of his son. Only Jesus' blood can cleanse our soul. It is only his blood. But you don't, have, you don't want to walk on his blood and use it. You don't want to mistreat his blood because it is so precious. He paid a terrible price. 
It's real, I tell you, it's true. It's real. What Jesus did was real. What Jesus Christ did was real. What's up, man? Good, man? And he did it for you and me. He's preaching the gospel, bro. Yeah, preaching the word of God, man. At the age of 33, Jesus Christ died for you. At the age of 33, he died for you and he rose again. He brings life to whoever accepts him. Jesus Christ didn't have to go to the cross, but he did because he cares about you. I see a lot of people wearing cross earrings and crosses, but you got to really follow him. You can't love anything in this world and say that you love God. Don't love nothing before God. Keep God first. Don't let the love of money go before God. Don't let that be your God. The God of the Bible, the Holy Bible, is the true God. The God of the Holy Scriptures. The Scriptures that are true. There are thousands of Scriptures that have been found. That proves that the Holy Bible is real. And what it says is true. And if you do not repent, you will perish. But also it says that if you turn to Jesus Christ, He can cleanse your soul. We all have sinned. We all have fallen short, but Jesus Christ can cleanse your soul. He cleansed my soul. He changed the way I was living. I was smoking. I smoked so much that my lungs started hurting. My lungs started hurting so much, but Jesus Christ healed my lungs. And he changed me from not smoking. Sin will lead to death. Do not continue in sin because it will lead to death. Jesus Christ gives life to the dead. If you're in sin, you're dead. You're dead in your sins and your trespasses. You're alive in the outside, but you're dead in the inside. Your soul is dead in the inside by the sin that you commit. It dirties your soul. When we sin in flesh, we sin in soul and spirit as well. Don't let sin rule your life. Don't let the devil rule your life. Don't let the devil and sin rule your life. But let Jesus Christ rule your life. He is true and he is real. And he's coming back. But he wants you to be his child before he comes back. Because whoever is not his child, they will be with the devil. Because those are de God's, the devil's children. The devil's children love sin. They love it because they do the things their father does. It's kill and destroy. That's all the that's all the devil does is steal, kill, and destroy. He loves to destroy. He loves to kill. He loves to steal. He used to steal from me all the time. I would have no money. He would be destroying my body. And he'll be killing people. I'll be destroying people's lives because he was controlling me. That's all he does. He's just destroying people. But Jesus Christ gives life. Jesus Christ gives life. He's the only one that can give you life. People are just existing right now. They're not having true life. People are just existing. They don't know what the meaning of life is. The meaning of life is following God. He created you. And that's the meaning of life, to follow Him. Don't do your will, but do God's will. Deny your ways and follow God's ways. He created you and He knows the perfect way for you. And He knows the perfect way for you to have eternal life. Jesus' name can only bring you eternal life. Confess it and believe it in your heart. God looks at our heart. 
When he sees if your heart is far away from him, close to him. I'll take it. Yes, sir. You all right? God sees if our heart is close to him, far away from him. God sees, and he knows every secret. God knows every secret sin, and he's going to judge you according to the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are true. The Holy Scriptures are true. The Bible has been proven over and over again that it is true. Millions have tried to test to see if the Bible is true, and it is. Hey, you're not it's ugly. It's the word of God. <laughs> it's the word of life. We're speaking words of life to you. We speak words of life and love and power. I am not ashamed of Jesus Christ because he is true. He is the one that the prophets spoke about. Jesus Christ loves you so much, but he hates your sin. He hates sin because it just kills and destroys. He hates it so much and he cannot accept it. But he loves you so much, but he doesn't want you to live in sin because if you live in sin, you will perish. The Holy Scripture says, the soul that sins shall die. If you sin with your soul, you shall die. Do not do witchcraft, because it will bring your soul down. Do not commit that evil sin of witchcraft. It just destroys. They have done witchcraft on my dad, and they ruined his life. But I know Jesus Christ can break bondage of witchcraft. He can break chains of satanic covenants. He has all power. Jesus Christ has all power under heaven and earth. And only by his name, only by that holy name of Jesus Christ can your soul be saved. Only by his precious blood, his precious blood that he poured out for you. He poured out his blood for you. That's the greatest love somebody can show is dying for you. Jesus Christ died for his enemies. He died for his enemies. I was an enemy of God, but he still died for me. And now I am his child. I am his child by faith, and you can be his child too, by your faith in him. He wants to adopt you into his family. Jesus Christ is the rock and you can stand on him because he will never fail nobody. He is God. Jesus Christ is God and he's coming back for his children. But you must live holy with him by faith. You cannot say that you're in the light but live in darkness. You cannot say you're in Jesus but you're with the world, you're with the devil. You can't live like that. You can't hold the devil's hand and God's hand at the same time. It's impossible. You cannot live in sin, but say that you're with God. God bless you, bro. Yeah, thank you. Um, so why can't I hold the devil's hand and God's hand at the same time? Because Jesus already established a way for us to live. You know, Jesus said you can't serve two masters. Either you serve God uh, says serve be Satan, separate. or you serve Jesus. You know, so who are it you says, choosing be to separate. serve? separate. Who are you choosing to serve? So I know most of y'all know about Christ. Jesus Christ. I mean, and he you wants know, you to come back. Yeah, yeah, so let me, Jesus let me. is supposed to serve all. Right? Right, so let me ask you. If you had a wife, and you really love your wife. So do you want her to go back and forth? Yeah. Okay, so why do you really think He's Jesus wants you to He is sending us to tell you that he cares for you. Right? Say that again. But he wants you to turn away from the evil way. Obviously, I'd love to serve the best. Most of us don't see that we're living in a sinful way, but we all have broken God's commandments. Jesus wants you to do the best in your We all have lies, right? stolen, and, right. okay. and committed adultery by so lusting, having lustful thoughts, having right? lustful eyes. Well, at, the end of, at the end of the day, you're still choosing to go to 
follow what the deal was operating in. All your heart, I, I get that. Soul. My point is, if Jesus you can't love God but is have in control of all, you must how do you God get to choose if he's already in your life? life? That's the first commandment. Well, at the end of the day, you have free will. Do not you know have okay, so Jesus gave us free will yeah. to follow the path. Some people's God yeah. is money. Okay. You're choosing it. Some like You can easily choose. You know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop to stop but drinking. Gonna go I'm going to stop drinking. With, with you and I'm going to start reading the word of God. You can't take I'm going to start money. praying. You I'm going to start getting closer to God. But you're choosing to drink. You're choosing to sin against God. That's what you're choosing. Okay. So Jesus gave us will. Jesus bad. And he created bad and Because he paid for your sin. No. So what happened was Adam sinned. So that's we how Satan had Eve care sin about first. Yeah, Eve, but okay. the commandment was given to Adam. Somebody would tell me, have told me this. So, and they would have saved me from a multitude right. of sin. But I had to go yeah, through I, this I sin. I always get uh, my wife and experience very it, like, hardcore. Jesus okay. is the only one who saved me. Oh, wow. I, was. I consider myself kind of sort of, but I love to. One of my friends had got Amen. five um, years in prison. I could have got the same thing. So, but my, God had my mercy biggest thing is... And he saved you know, me. God created everything. Holy I could have been dead right now, Jesus, six feet God, in the ground. But Jesus and they're all the same person, saved me. Right? Yeah. I didn't okay. die by the grace of God. So, I thank God it, I did not always, die. It's, I wouldn't say it's funny. But I'm funny, living right now but talking it's, to y'all. It's very Because of God's topic. mercy. He has these mercy are all on the us. He has grace people. on us. Or whatever. Even though we don't extraterrestrial seek him. We must whatever. seek him with all our heart. Um, seek him and you will find so him. My point is, don't if seek they nothing control else, but just seek and him. see everything, why would they seek make it ways. hard for some people? Read the Holy Spirit, right? Scriptures and, will and, tell and, you and that's the where truth. you said free choice comes in. The word of God is truth and so it is life. I have my own choice to just be an asshole. It is the only like word that can save your soul. Just be an right. asshole. Right? Yeah. Sin cannot save your soul. But where did my initial thought come from? Living in sin. Did I just come? break you down? It will you bring understand? Like, where did the thought process come from good or bad? The did I decide to be good to today? Did I decide to be bad today? Right? Where he did wants that you to stay in sin. Come? But God wants to bring if, you out. Realistically, so that you can like you said, righteous with Adam, him. By let faith. Her sin, essentially. Some people say that happiness is the best thing If there was thing no such thing as have, sin, so people let's love just happy. assume that Some sin was not created somebody. until That's not true happiness. the apple true happened, happened, right? Yeah. The true way so of righteousness. If, how did he, or how Some did people she, just live, they live, they say, oh, I'm going to just to be happy. That's I'm basically what happened. Yeah. But really, if but they that, created that the sin, way. then the real realistically, the God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus, true. Jesus created sin before. Yeah, yeah. So what happened was, let's get a little bit over here. Okay, I can barely really hear you. Yeah, so what happened was, God told God told Adam, the commandment was given to Adam. So God told Adam, do not eat from this tree because if you do, you will surely die, right? That's what God told Adam. So that's when Satan came in and deceived Eve. He will lead you down and Eve into the pit. The devil got, wants to lead you down into the She pit. got uh, uh, curious. You, life. you know, a desire the grew. Jesus Christ. A desire the grew in her. Says, and she took what wasn't supposed to be to the forbidden. Me. That's except when they that when That's she, she when said. Adam He's the did what he, he wasn't supposed to, the scripture he broke the law. Field. So Eve and he Adam broke. So they broke the law. That's already that was already established. God gave them a choice. So now the let me ask. So you true. might, so you might say, well then, if if, it is if true and it you is know, sharp. why would God put the tree if He knew He was going to eat it? Heart. Well, that's when free will comes yours. in, and He wants to see your love. So, that's my so point. Much. Is why would God but give us the choice of bad if He controls everything? So Jesus said, if you truly love me, you will obey my commandments. So right there, we see initiative. We see a commitment, like. A, a decision that you have to make personally you if you him if you believe. love him if you love god then you have to decide to not to do what god doesn't want you to do decide if you want to be good or not really well, you decide to follow to christ oh, because your 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 heart you know my heart your heart it's evil 
It's right. It's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you're you're going to have bad intentions. I already knew. Yeah, exactly. In this so, dark world, you can be a light. By Jesus you know, Christ, you can be a light in this that's dark where, world. That's where your wrong, your, your wrong motives no come out of. You know what I'm saying? So, what so you're, you're going to do bad. Is, everything else is darkness. Free will came before This Jesus. world is getting darker and darker. Thank God. But well, if we just shine the light oh, of Jesus Christ, because why would God can be, create something for the us to the be? Light of he God. gave us free will, correct? God is all powerful. But why would free will the devil include be powerful, bad but God is all powerful. If He was before everything, He, he is all powerful and He can set you free. If you're having any demonic okay, so what, what's the, the point of, of your answer? What's, what's, what's oh, your question? Yeah, yeah. Is, if you so, need any healing, in terms the name of, of science, Jesus Christ can right? heal you. Everything comes before He has all power. Right? Okay. Something has to be there before something happens. He has all happens, power. Right? Right, right, right. And He wants you okay. to be His child. So, if God he is wants the, to adopt you. You know, from ever being, be He was there before him. time. He was Eternally there in great, in heaven with him. everything. Then what created God? He because made you an eternal God. soul. You are a soul in a body. Because in terms of... That's what you are. Uh, you are a soul inside of a body. Theory, uh, your body is going to go back to the ground, but your soul is going to live forever. From matter that was so I hope that your soul is going to go to heaven and not hell. Small little grain of The only way is for Jesus Christ to go to heaven. There was so much power in one small There room. is an afterlife. Big bang, you know, it created Earth, There is no such the thing as reincarnation. Sun, as reincarnation. All of the galaxies, There's an because everything has to come from eternity. something, right? Okay. From something, whether it's an atom or smaller than atom. Most people don't we don't know if there are things life, smaller than atoms because real. we don't have the technology. But I can guarantee you, there are some The afterlife smaller is than atoms. eternity. So okay. what? What came before God is God again, God I himself. pray that y'all hear these words. God is, well, it reads he's an everything. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, it's he's infinite. That's my point. So read it and see that my, it is true. That's my the biggest thing. The Holy Bible, what it says is over. true that there's a so heaven and hell. why would you create and that Jesus everything is the only and be way like, to heaven? I'm going to make something. You must repent of I'm going to give these people free will to, to be bad. No, no, no. So, see, that's the... Don't follow this world or the Have you read the Bible? Nope. I have zero desires here. Okay, see, I mean, that's, okay and, and, and see that that's the problem. You're 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 you're, you're saying something that that's not what the Bible says. Does. You know, God does, did not create uh for so we can be evil him. or so we can Nothing choose can evil. Jesus I understand. That. God did not do he did not do that. He is God. You know? he did it. So okay, let me explain. So when God, God created Almighty, it was all good. So they have no no uh no desire to do wrong. You know, they had no exactly right, right. So now, do you seek God because of their disobedience? Seek the one who may be found. God told because Adam, be "Because of you, you I, the world has, the earth has to be cursed." Don't ignore God. So he before you and he wants you to be Adam, with him. before Adam got the seed, it with was you. everything was all good. They had no desire to be wrong. To you, they had no shame. All God. they knew was, was love. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. So my point is, if he only knew that, then the devil came in and tainted their thoughts, right, right. deceived them, deceived them, whatever. Right, right, right. Anyways, right. he got into their head. And Eve, Eve, Eve. 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 Right. So you're saying that Eve Maybe was initially bad. Of Jesus Christ. No. Okay. So how did the tainted thought get into his head? He loves you so much that he died for you. Um. He died that your soul may be saved. The desires of the eyes, the lust of the eyes. So when you see something, let's say you see a nice car, right? Right. I want to steal it. Perish. Right. You you want to or you want it? You know, I want I want to take perish. it. That's yeah. the lust of the eye. So when when, when Satan came to Eve and told her, Hey, they really, did God really say you cannot eat from this tree? So he, she started looking and she started desiring it. And when Satan found a way in, that's how the action came. with many people. Okay. To drink all this but alcohol who gave and her the liver. desire to decide to who, and what is nice and what is not nice? That's the free will, right? But most important, she has my free will. So let's just say hell. I think that Honda Accord right there. Is the Holy Scripture says, car, right? yeah. "What shall profit a man yeah. if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul?" Is it where did that thought come from? from? What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world from a desire? But right, loses his so because own the Bible soul. says that, uh, 
you are, uh, you are, uh, uh, world and your soul is not so worth it. So, is it right or wrong to take it? Your soul Obviously, is wrong. it's wrong, right? Obviously. Your soul okay. is so precious. Let me look. Well, I'm gonna show you a scripture. Bro. I'm, 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 for a million I'd rather just talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the no, Bible no. is just a. Uh, I promise and you. As, as much as everyone hates when I say that. So okay, so the Bible says that we are tempted by the, our own lust, and our lust is created by. There is only one way. Our to evil heaven. heart. You know that's. And who that's, gave us our evil heart? There's many ways to go to hell. It's it's a it's a heart that we. There's one way. We have been deceived to to be. The road is narrow. Uh, going well, to heaven. The, plan, the Satan, Satan has the way to go to hell. Yeah, has planted that desire so to be wrong. That as soon as God was alive or became God a thing, that means so as soon as God was created, Seek him and the you devil was created him. at the same time. Well, don't see the I'm sorry, I'm before him. Satan was the Lucifer. one that created you. Okay, well, they're kind of the same to me. So, yeah, it's it's I, well, you gotta, you gotta know the story. You gotta know the story. So, his purpose uh, isn't for you. So, what Satan at one point was called Lucifer. In this world, okay. in he was, this he was an angel. You know, right, yeah, and then he was constantly uh, because he was, he was rebellious. Yeah. Who created hell? Who created hell? Yeah, God. Right. He, didn't, he wasn't so, cast down so, to hell. So, 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 he was not cast so, down to hell. I understand that. But he created hell right. for him specifically, and, and, right? And, 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 so yeah, if he means. created hell, that means he already knew what bad thoughts were, what bad things were, bad, bad, bad. That means God already had those thoughts in the head. Of okay. his, right? Because you can't create an okay. evil place unless you have that thought. Okay, so why do you think God told Adam, do not eat from this tree? Because, because he already had bad thoughts. God obviously he, had No, bad well, he thoughts. knew the... No, what? Yes, he did. Okay, how are you going to How are you gonna have, tell somebody that's a bad thought or that's a bad thing unless you already know that's a bad thing? And if you know it's well, a bad thing... He's, no, hold on. If you know it's a bad thing, oh, then fell, you would have already had those thoughts, Lord. right? Well, he's a creator, right? He knows the consequence. He, he knows the consequences of of, 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 of sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, I get it. I get it. One hundred percent. Amen. So, That's my point. So, like, if God, okay, brother, hold on. Before we continue, what's your question? You should want to my do question this is, what do you, what do you want to know? Right so, does God, God know everything? Prepare yourself yeah. for not okay, only this so if God year, knew everything, why would you create your days. bad? That's the whole point. Well, he didn't he create bad. He gave us free will. He didn't right? create bad. Yes, he did. He did not create Yes, he did, because he gave us all knowledge, right? No. Okay, then who gave us knowledge? Well, that's when God told that Adam, do not eat from this tree of, of good and evil. Because he but, knew it was bad. Because Adam, because Adam, yeah, exactly. Because so Adam, he knew it was bad, then he knew it was bad. Well, he told, he, he told yeah, Adam, if you eat from it, you will surely more. die. Time to be exactly. So, so my, my point is, is, if he knew, so... If I yes, that you are that lukewarm and not cold or hot, right? I will I'm gonna spew die you instantly. out of the mouth. Well, this is God's it, obviously. So God let's wants just say you to be God wants to be the first him. human on earth. God wants the greatest good for you. He goes in my head and he said, don't eat that apple, eat his right? Home. Right. Don't eat that apple. It's not, I'm gonna fucking eat it. Seek because the Lord while he may be found. Reason. Call upon him while he is here. Let the wicked forsake their evil ways. The unrighteous their thoughts and return to the Lord. Okay. Where you may receive mercy and be abundantly pardoned. Call upon the Lord by the Holy Spirit. But, but, but we already, is we already talked about this. Yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah. so what, 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 what are we trying to get? What are you trying My to get? Point time, is, but that's not the case. So God can only is come to the Lord when the Holy great. Spirit is calling He is 100% you. Um, pure. God He's 100% you. like. I got, I, got, I got your answer. The Bible says that Listen, you should bless those who would persecute you. He made the choice. Because if he just created us as robots, robots bad language because of bad we wouldn't things have that a have choice. To them. Right. And if but I want you to know that you can't find peace in God. Because God is love. No, it wouldn't be. God loves all of you. So that's why he had to make it, you know. Like that, so people can However, there are up. many people like I used to be gotcha. that are an yeah, act of rebellion from God. They don't want so to humble themselves to God. Options. You can choose to be bad or you can choose to be good, right? You can make, but the good news is, is in a moment you can change 
to go jump on that. You not have to wait until there's a flash of light like Paul did on the road. I, to the my masses. desire is to have fun. You can fun. choose to make that change I think that I'll today. Have fun you can when I choose to make that call, change right? right now. Nothing good will come of it. While many people are Other setting up here own during desire, closing time, right? you can make the decision to make a change in your life. You can make that unwavering commitment to come to Christ. You can allow Adam the Holy Spirit to come into your heart, created Adam. and your life will never be the same. Okay, that's my answer. Many people, wait, wait, hold on, no, bro. you can go on YouTube, you can yeah, hear about God their created Adam, but not unique to me. Because of Adam's mistake and uh, disobedience, it was, and there was consequences. The Bible says that for the way to sin is dead. You know, there's a consequence to everything that you do. Right. In right. Own lives. Okay. And right. who created consequences? Even though well, God, that's go why he, he warns people. I understand So that. if I was to tell you, but brother, if I was to tell you, brother, to grow, you know, I really, you, you're telling me, brother, I really want that car, you know, uh, I want to go, I want to steal it. I'm like, bro, if you steal it, you're going to go to jail. Gotcha. Times. I understand that. So you're, you chose to steal it. And who gave me my free will? God. Okay. Let me go. Brother, but I, I, that, you know, uh, I believe in a higher You're seeking purpose. And then some are seeking assurance, assurance that they are on the right path, that they will make it to heaven. But in the Bible, Jesus claims that he is the truth. He asserts that in John 14, 6. The Bible says that Jesus is the only way. That's an unpopular message here in our multicultural society. It's an intolerant message, but nevertheless, it is true. When does that run out? Is there a time limit? Does he so you have to be willing to go apart from the Bible. You're called to be holy as, as God is holy, and holy means to be apart or separated from. So unfortunately, you are going to have to remove yourself from the world. Because the world, unfortunately, is wicked. It's in Rebellion with God, it, then we if you be want to, to become a holy person, if you well, want to be and, 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 and that's where free that will is. God, yeah, so are you choosing to serve God or say, serve Satan? I'm, I understand that, but who gave us free will? Okay, well, okay, well, 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 I'm asking you, how are you using your free will? Oh, I'm horrible. Okay, good. And then I'm bad. It may be dark here. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And of course, the light here is Jesus Christ, and the darkness is the wickedness and the ignorance of the world. And today, we are a part of that light. Every time a Christian stands up for the gospel and stands up for the faith, that light shines brighter. Brother, whatever the fuck it wants, if it wants to be the brother, what are you, what are you doing out here? That's what am I doing? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I was walking around trying to find something to do, and I heard you guys talking. So I decided to start a conversation. I just want to tell you that Jesus is I know. The Holy Spirit of God. Do you know Jesus is No, I do. Jesus is God. Understand? Hey, John. I'm about to head out, bro. Are you? Yeah. I got to go to church tomorrow. to all of you here in 2021. It certainly would seem strange to me that I would be streets preaching. I wouldn't imagine it even five years ago, let alone 10 or 20. And yet here I am. And the reason is everything about this goes against my nature. I'm an introvert. I'm a bit shy. I don't like to raise my voice. And yet I'm here raising my voice in the hope that my words through the power of the Holy Spirit will reach you in the hope that my words will cause some of you to reflect on your relationship with God and to think about these deeper philosophical questions about why am I here, what is the purpose of my life, is there an afterlife in the hopes that a seed may be planted so that some of you can start that process where you start to have a relationship with God. And for all the other lukewarm Christians out there, I hope my words echo in your mind that kind of give you thought to reflect on that perhaps now I need to reaffirm my commitment to Christ. Now I need to allow God to come first. 
I failed trying to do things my own way, and now I'm going to humble myself and rely on God and rely on the wisdom in the Bible to lead me and guide me. But that can be a difficult thing here in the West because many folks do choose to rely on their, their own understanding. And it takes a while before they're willing to humble themselves. They, they have to hit rock bottom. That was certainly the case for me, but that doesn't have to be the case for you. Because as the Bible said, God favors the humble. And you do not have to wait. God bless you. And you do not have to wait. You do not have to wait to your 30s or 40s for a midlife crisis. You can get serious about your relationship with God today. You can call upon Him in prayer, in humble prayer, to guide you. You can open up the Bible and start to read its words and allow it to transform your life. But you have to believe in God. You have to be willing to obey God. And you have to be willing to repent of your sins. But if you're willing to do those things, then you can become born again. And you can be guided by the Holy Spirit. So many people have various types of addictions or trying to overcome issues or abuses. We're talking about God. The most important thing in the world. God bless. Isn't it? And that is what my hope is, that our words will stick with some of you and you'll be thinking about God today and not thinking about the next Hollywood movie, not thinking about Netflix, not thinking about the Cowboys, but choosing to spend some time to think about God and what your future may hold if you give your life to Christ. No other God can be called a friend. No other God can be called a redeemer. No other God coming back again. And how we love your name, Jesus, you're the beautiful one. We love your name. How we love your name, Jesus, you're the beautiful one. We love your name.
just don't want to, you know, limit myself to where I am right now. searching for you and he also puts on the best robe not some cheap robe he and gives him his ring his signet which is what they would use to mark the, the letters so it's very important so and he's doing all these things he's restoring him back to his his son so that's what he's saying he's not like you don't have to explain anything to me the son wanted to say i you know i'll do this and all this to recover he's not having any of it he accepts him as his son again so you're never lost you're never lost, okay? All right, Justice. Is it okay if I give you a hug? I got the camera here. Okay. God bless you, Justice. God loves you. We love you, too. Like I said, here's a card. But we usually have a service at 2 o'clock at the Ronald Kirk Growing in My Faith. Yes, sir. Uh, God bless you. Absolutely. God bless you all. Oh, God bless you. Amen. Don't you have the Bible about down people's Rose, but like, like Peter did, by example, yeah. if you went like teach the gospel when necessary, use words, right? So yeah. action, you're like, yeah. thank y'all. Yeah. Jesus, y'all. Said, it, Jesus huh? said, if you love me, you're gonna keep my commandments. You're gonna keep, okay. So, so I don't know what, what are you doing. So out your here? commandments is like to spread the word. What I'm doing out here is like he also said, like, um, I don't know, drink wine and be merry. Yeah. There's a balance. Don't get drunk. Sure. Don't be intoxicated. Sure. You know. Don't be drinking. Yeah, because he said he turned the first miracle in the Bible is turning water into wine. That but is why? the first miracle. Why? Do why? Yeah. why do I drink, or why was that the but first why? miracle? Why? Why do you do that miracle? Uh, he said drink and be married. He didn't say don't drink alcohol. Do you have a problem with alcohol? No. Do you have a problem with alcohol? I used to. I'm really delivered from it. You're right. So if there is a spirit. There is a spirit. But there's also a balance of like control, like drunk, like drink and be merry versus don't get drunk, which are both written in scripture. So why do you want to be in that fence, man? What about if you end up stumbling with, oh, like, damn, no, like, I, too I, many I drinks. definitely stumble. Why do you I want have to stumble. Because people, this is what I'm saying, like, you don't want to risk it. You don't want to be in that fence, man. You know what I mean? Okay. Because there are, there are other risks out there, just because of somebody you know, who's gotten drunk it's plenty of times. It's a gateway. And no, I'm sure. not just talking about out. I'm just simply being in a bar. Do you know how many times a fight almost kicked off? Oh, for sure. I mean, you could get your, you lose your life because somebody gets mad or some girl. Okay. You, know, you gotta go. Uh, I love y'all. I love y'all. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, always. And pray for me, I'll pray for you. We'll do what? 
What's your name? You say Uche? Uche. 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 Are you military? What's that? No. My father was, but my father was. Okay. No, you're just very serious about it. I love the dedication. I'm gonna give you one Bible first before you leave. You're gonna give me one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.